Mr. Francisco invited me. Hope to see you in Milano in 2026. Please contact me if you travel to Europe. I replied to him immediately. Of course. Hello everyone. My name is Liu Dibo. I'm a volunteer for Beijing 2022 Olympic Games. My position is Olympic Family Assistant, known as OFA, which is a group of people assisting major figures of Olympic Games during their journey in Beijing. My service object, Mr. Francisco Ricci Beatty, the president of the Association of Summer Olympic International Federations, is an Italian gentleman. In addition to regular works, I always share stories about Chinese cultures and places of interest in Beijing with him. Because of the closed loop, we cannot get off the car to visit the sites, so these stories are even more precious. We talk about the great unity of the Chinese nation when we passed the China Ethnic Museum. I elaborated the construction history of Beijing when we approached Tiananmen Square. I hope that I can not only be an assistant, but also raise a link between a young Chinese and an Italian. I still remember clearly what Mr. Francisco told his friends. This is not only my assistant, but also my good friend in Beijing. Time flies. Mr. Francisco is about to leave China. I was thinking about what memories of the Winter Olympics I had to let him take away. Finally, a model of the Prost chair comes to my mind. Prost chair is an artwork by Alexandro Mendini, who was a famous Italian designer and architect. Before I entered the closed loop, I got the white model by 3D printing, and I painted it with Mendini's pattern and Olympic emblem. Mr. Francisco was pleasantly surprised by this gift and said, I will put this precious gift in my handbag by myself. Thank you, Debo. At that moment, I felt that human emotions are cross-cultural, because this connection point of each individual is also an important node for the construction of a community of shared future for mankind. Before starting to leave, Mr. Francisco invited me. Hope to see you in Milano in 2026. Please contact me if you travel to Europe. I replied to him immediately. Of course, we will meet in Milano 2026. I'm sure we will also meet each other in Brisbane 2032. At that time, I realized that I have gained a deep friendship regardless of countries, languages, and ages. At the opening ceremony of the Olympic Winter Games Beijing 2022, International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach said, In our free fragile world, where division, conflict, and mistrust are on the race, we show the world, yes, it's possible to be first rivals, while at the same time living peacefully and respectfully together. Indeed, in such a pandemic, it seems that the connection between people has become fragmented. Just like the tiny fire of the Olympic cauldron at the open ceremony, although the truth and the holiness are invisible, it existed in everyone's heart, and it carries the best wishes for the harmony of the world and the close connections of human beings. This is what I told Mr. Francisco on his way to the airport, and this is what I will believe forever.